What is going on, Luna family? We got some new news to go through, and we got an absolutely killer trade that we spoke about yesterday that I let you guys all know about. I made some nice profits in that. We're going to talk about it and everything that you need to know to be fully up to date. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your water, grab your mushroom powder, whatever it is that you be drinking when you watch these videos. And first of all, we got a new trending topic here, Coinbase to list Luna Classic, which would be absolutely awesome. Of course, Coinbase is one of the big biggest exchanges in the world. I don't really think this would bring much in the way of volume to Luna Classic because uh, I think the news itself would bring more news, to bring more volume to Luna Classic than anything else because obviously they're one of the biggest exchanges. And uh, even if we look over at Bitcoin, you can see on Bitcoin, Coinbase only has about 1% of the actual volume. Binance, far, far more. So uh, people may be buying Luna Classic on Coinbase and holding it, but the volume really wouldn't be that affected. And really, we want the volume to come up. But with the news of it, it could be absolutely huge. So do keep that on your radar. Now, with that said, we have Luna Classic here. I spoke about a potential descending wedge here, which was an opportunity, right? They are more likely to break bearish, but if we did break above and retest this line, we could potentially see some nice movements. Now, I've closed this trade already because it was just a short term one, but here we go. There was up to 7.1% gains there with 10x leverage. That's 70%, 20x, 140%. Obviously, be safe with your trading. I personally had a 20x leverage on it and got 52% profit. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, if you do want to get ready for your trading, of course, BitGet has everything that you need for leverage trading. They also have Luna Classic, access to Luna Classic. They got a $4,400 deposit bonus happening right now. There's copy trading, there's everything you need. And if you do want any other exchange, I currently have over $12,000 down there in the description, just waiting for you guys to grab. So definitely make the best of it while it's still there. That's my opinion anyway. And heading over to Bitcoin, we can see here how we're doing. We're still fighting that descending line here that descending trend and we are right on it if we do break through it this is the potential formation of a pattern that i'm seeing coming in of course if we do get rejected we can continue on a similar trajectory down and uh, yeah that's just what we're gonna have to wait to find out what's happening so with that said we also do have some news here burn and rebuild luna classic from edward kim he is one of the founders from uh, one of the developers on Terra Rebels, and they are talking about an idea around UST. Now, they're referring to it as an algorithmic fungible token, an AFT. This is basically their plan that they've set out in order to uh, come up with a new idea around it. And there's a few different things here, mainly not having a central entity that has power over the community or the token or the ecosystem, which is a good step, I think definitely good. And the Repeg team are working on significantly strengthening the capital control system to dramatically reduce the odds of another death spiral. So they're coming up with ideas around this, how to repeg UST. Definitely come over and read this. I'll actually leave it down there in the description. Definitely read this, just ideas around it. And they have taken steps already to start this process. And potentially at the end of 2022, we're going to see the first steps start towards this, which is absolutely great. I think this would be an even bigger comeback story than uh, the one of Luna Classic. So I'm pretty excited about that. If you do like this sort of information, smash up the like button. If you do want to get ready for your next trade, the link is down there in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video.